with me to Genesis chapter 39. And I tell you, praise God, I like I said, I got a word tonight, and, and I hope it's a blessing to you. And actually, Sister Reese was a, a big, the Lord used her the other night to uh, kind of inspire me to preach this tonight. Praise and the Lord. Praise God. And if, if you don't mind, Sister Reese, I'd like for you to say what you said, praise God, about that the Lord will move you out of your comfort zone. Amen. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it was, but I do know that I was testifying. I had texted Nancy and told her that I missed her and Bill, but I knew God was using them at Sassafras. And I said, we're not always comfortable sometimes where the Lord puts us. Yeah. Just like I used Joseph as an example. You know, he went to prison for two years. He yeah. wasn't even guilty, but for two yeah. years he was there, but God used him. Yeah. Yeah. That he yeah. preserved, you know, a lot of people yeah. by letting the Lord use him in that situation, even though it's not comfortable for us. Oh, yeah. yeah. But God's got a purpose. You know, and that's, that's one of the hardest things for us as believers. Praise God. When, when the Lord, sometimes we want things our way. Oh, yeah. But the Lord has a different plan. And change is never good for nobody. Praise God. I don't care who you are. If you tell me change is great and wonderful, <laughs> well, praise God. It is, but you, you still got to fight that. I'm, I'm going through it myself. Amen to God. But in the end, when God is in it, it's going to be good. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And that's what, you know, when you said that the other night, praise God, I went home and I told Lori, I said, man, I said, there was something about the other night, the way the Lord moved through each testimony, because I texted Sister Brother Billy later on that night, that everything said for each individual met somebody's needs in here. Yeah. And when, when I heard Brother Bill and Sister Nancy give her testimony, it just really touched me. I put on, the, I put on his Facebook page, her testimony really blessed me, because... I was drawn from everybody, just like each and every person who was here that night was drawing to. There Amen. was something the way the Lord was moving that night. It, it was a very beautiful way He was moving, bringing peace to us. Amen. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, in these storms we go through in life, you know, we need, praise God, the peace speaker mm -hmm. just to come up on the scene and say, peace, be mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to calm our doubts and all of our fears. Because God's not given us a spirit of fear. Amen? Amen. But He's given us that of love and of peace and of a sound mind. If I said that right, I may have been backwards on. Oh. But praise God. Hallelujah. And we're going to be talking tonight about Joseph. Because that's one man who was faithful to God. I'm on. But he went through something. Yeah. He went through, if I, if I can say it, he went through hell and high water. Yeah. But he still remained faithful. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I know one night we've got the veggie tales and we, me and Hunter was watching it one night and they were doing the story about, I forget the, the name of it, but it was about Joseph yeah. and his brothers. And they tossed him in the pit and they didn't get him. And then he went to prison. And, and, and the one thing about that, and God can use anything, Amen. whether it be children's cartoons or praise God, a bubble gum wrapper on the street corner. Uh -huh. Amen to God. God can use anything for his glory. And in that, when that jailer asked him, he says, why do you remain so faithful to God and you're in jail and you've been through this and you've been through that? Yeah. Praise God. He said, because God is good. Come on. Somebody ought to shout on that. Praise yes. God. Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen to God. No matter what we're going through, God, you are good. Amen Come to on. God. You are faithful to us. Faithful. Praise God. Yes. Because I know, hallelujah to God, Jesus on his way to Calvary. Praise God. When he was in that garden. Hallelujah. Come on. He said, not my will, but thine be done, Lord. Amen. He, hallelujah. How many of us would want to go die at the cross? Come on. Come on. But he knew he had to do that to fulfill that which was spoken by the prophets of old. Yes. He amen. knew that's what was God's will to redeem mankind yeah, from the on. curse of sin. Amen to God. It was Jesus to die on the cross. Come on. Hallelujah. And he paid the debt. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. Come on. So let's go to Genesis 39. We're going to read the whole chapter. Praise God. Y'all know the story, but man, this is powerful, amen, to God. And this is something I think that we need right now because a lot of times we get down to nothing, 
But God is up to something. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Can yeah. I say that Come again? on. Amen. When we get down to nothing, praise God. That's the title, brother. When we get down to nothing, Come on. God is up to something. Yes. Amen to God. Amen. Oh, you don't have to shout yeah. on that. Praise Come God. On. And it said, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt. Egypt is a type of the flesh. Amen uh, to God. Come on. Yeah. Down to Egypt and Potiphar and an officer of Pharaoh, a captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him to the bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. Hallelujah. Say amen for that. Amen. See, how many knows that when you're going through stuff, praise God, as long as you've got God on your side, you're prosperous. Amen. Well, what do you mean by prosperous, praise God? Because you've got the favor of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Unmerited grace. Yeah. Amen to God. Yeah. It don't necessarily mean riches in your wallet or yeah. your bank account. Yeah. It Come means you've got the favor of God. Oh, amen. Yes. Hallelujah. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And when his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand, Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had put into his hands. Now see two chapters earlier, Joseph was cast in the pit because of jealousy from the brothers. Come on. How many has ever had, praise God, yeah, hallelujah, when God bless you, you have a brother or sister get mad at you because God blessed you, you got a healing or something, praise oh. God, and you're just up praising God and somebody because the devil will slide in there and say, well, what about you? Why didn't God give you yours? Praise oh. God. And yeah. then that, that spirit of jealousy starts getting in there. See, when you're down to nothing, God is up to something. Amen. Oh, God. Man. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He'll get in there and praise God. And we need to praise Him. Hallelujah. And see, Joseph did not hold a grudge towards Him. Hallelujah. That's what gets me. If, some, if eight, eight of my brothers threw me in a pit, yeah. I'd be a little bit upset. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Praise God. Left me there to die. But praise God, He knew God was good in it. Yeah. Amen. God was faithful. Faithful. Mm. Yeah. Glory. And it came to pass from that time that He had made Him overseer in His house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. See, God will bless, amen, to God, those around you for his name's sake, amen. Come on, yeah. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hands, and he knew not all he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife. Cast your eyes upon Joseph. See, watch how the devil does. Come on. See how when God starts blessing you and giving you favor, Satan gets mad about it. Come on now. Yeah. And she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wadeth not what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. Joseph was faithful to yeah. his master. Amen. We got to be faithful to what God gives us. Come on. Don't let the devil, amen to God. We got to just put that aside and be faithful, praise God. No matter what you're going through, Come God, on. when you're down to nothing, God is always up be to faithful. something. Amen. amen. There is none greater in this house than I. Neither hath he kept back anything from me but thee. Because thou art his wife, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass as she spake to Joseph day by day that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her to, to be lie with her. And it came to pass at this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house that are that the house there within. And she called him by his garment, saying, Lie with me, and he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. Hallelujah. Thank God he got away. Come Praise on. God. But it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, that she called unto the men of the house and spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. Man, the devil's so mean. Come on. He yeah. saw, he, he just, he's going to take any chance he can to make and knock you out. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. And it came to pass that when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. And she laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home. And she spake unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou brought unto us came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass that as I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled out. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spake unto him, saying, After this manner did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. See, the devil will try to stop the favor of Come God on. on you. Amen? Yeah. yeah. 
And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph. Go over to God. Somebody ought to shout on that. Yeah. See, God is with you no matter what. So you may be going through things or having to go through some stuff, but God is still with you. Jesus is with me. Yeah. When the storm clouds gather, amen? And it said He showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hands all the prisoners that were in the prison, and whatever they did there, he was a doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand because the Lord was with him, and that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. See, I'm telling you tonight that when you're down to nothing, like Joseph was, God's up to something. See, Potiphar's wife tried to entrap him. He fled. Praise God that he fled. But then they put him in prison. And then he found favor by the grace of God with the keeper of the prison. Mm -hmm. See, praise God, no matter what situation you're in tonight, you may be going through something. You may be going through a physical sickness. Amen to God when the doctors have done told you, hey, there's nothing we can do medically. There's nothing we can do for you but just keep you comfortable and let you just go home and die. <laughs> but i got good news for you. The doctors don't know when your time is up. Only God does. Amen. Come God on. is the amen to God. God is the one in control of all that. Praise God. Every breath we take, it's only because of His grace and His mercy. Praise God. And we ought to be praising Him tonight that we're saved, that we're born again. Amen to God. That we're able to lift His his blessed name up. You said, Brother Mike, nothing major is happening here tonight. Yes, it is. God is still alive and well, and He's still Lord and Savior of your life. Praise God. If you're breathing, it's by the grace of God. Hallelujah to God. If you've got both your eyes, it's by the grace of God. If you've got your hearing, it's by the grace and favor of God. If you've got your legs and your arms, it's by the grace and favor of God. Because when you get down to nothing, God is up to something. Yeah. Amen to God. Somebody Amen. ought to shout on that. Hallelujah. These people in these foreign countries right here, they're cast in prison for loving Jesus. Come on, yeah. But we get mad over here in the United States of America because, praise God, if we have to sit through a little bit of a heat wave, we fuss and complain and will not come back to the church. Come on. But these people would give anything. I believe, Brother Billy, they'd give their very life just to be sitting oh, yeah. in this little storefront Amen. church to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ preached and the message of the cross. Say that to God. Yeah. Because when they're down to nothing, God is up to something. Come on. To God. Because I tell you, when they send out these Voice of the Martyrs magazines and we read their testimony, it gives us a chance to just thank God and He gets the glory because Hallelujah. they stood in the gap, amen to God, and they said, I'm not going to be put down. I'm not going to give in. I'm going to praise my God. I'm going to lift Him up because He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Yeah. Is this alright? Can Come I preach like this tonight? Yeah, Hallelujah. See, amen to God, we've got to look at it. Hallelujah. And with the spiritual eye, because this old carnal stuff's going to perish. We ain't taking it with us. Naked came we in this world and we're going to go out with nothing, amen to God. We didn't have nothing when we come in here, but when we leave out, i got to say this, when we leave out, we're going to have something. We're going to have Jesus with us, amen to God. We're going to have that gift of eternal life. Oh, somebody ought to shout amen. If I've got any believers in this place, you ought to say amen tonight. Amen. Because when you get down to nothing, Jesus is up to something. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Go over to God. We got to stay in God's Word. Amen to God. When you're going through something, you need to pray. Not give up. Amen. The first thing the devil wants you to do is when you're going through something, is to quit praying. Quit having a communication line with the Father. Yeah. Stop Come on. it. That's what he says. Yeah. yeah. When the bad things happen, I've been there. I know, yeah. praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You just don't want to talk, amen. Yeah. On. You just want to be like this. Yeah. I'm mad, I'm done, I'm finished, I'm through. Yeah. Amen. I don't I don't want none of this. But that's the devil's first part of his plan to take you down, amen. He wants you to stop reading the word. If you stop reading the word, your faith won't increase, amen. Come on. Hallelujah. There's people in this place going through things. Amen to God. And I tell you tonight, don't give up. Come on. Stay in the Word. Amen yeah. to God. Because that's how Jesus defeated the devil. Yeah. Was with the Word of God. Yeah. Amen to God. He said, man shall live. Hallelujah. The devil come to him and wanted to give him bread and give him all this stuff. Amen yeah. to God. But Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. Come but on. by every word that proceeded out yeah. of the mouth of God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. That's 
telling me that this word is important tonight. Amen. Uh -huh. And every ass telling oh, me, yeah. praise God. I'm going to use what Donnie Swagger said. This King James Version Bible, praise uh -huh. God, is important that we stand upon the truth. Uh -huh. Amen. God. Amen. All these other perverted, corrupt versions out there, yeah. hallelujah, the devil has distorted them, yeah. but he's got us all blinded yeah. by it. But I'm telling uh -huh. you right now, when you read the truth, amen to God, from a King James Bible, when you read it, praise God, it will open your eyes, amen to God, uh -huh. to see the light of God's truth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God is good. Amen. They ought to get somebody shouting tonight. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Stay anchored to God in the yeah. times of the storms. Amen to God. Because if you're anchored in Jesus, praise God, you ain't going nowhere. You may shake and move around a little bit, but you ain't going nowhere. Because you're concrete down in there. You know when they take those beams out there for bridges, they have to push them beams all the way down. I'm on. Far down. They can't do it just a little bit or they'll fall over. You've got to get all the way down in Jesus. Amen to God. Because it's on Christ the solid rock I stand. Help I'm the on. church. All of the ground is sinking sand. But if we stay upon Him, amen to God, He'll take care of us. Amen. Praise God. God amen. is good. Amen. Yes. amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory. Praise God. In the good times and the bad times, God, you're good. Amen. Come on. Can I give you another fella? Come on. Hallelujah. Who remained faithful to God. Yeah. <laughs> when he got down to nothing, he knew God was up to something. Amen. Come yeah. On. Come on. Oh, Joel. Yeah. Brother Joel. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Yeah, was Joel was a blessed man. Yeah. Amen. In the beginning, man, when we start reading, Joel had everything. He had land. Yeah. He had cattle. He had houses. Come he on. had money. He had children. Yeah. He had a wife. Amen to God. He had favor all over. I'm sure when Brother Joe come walking through, they knew that was Brother Joe coming Come in. Yeah. When he walked into probably the synagogue, they said there's Brother Joe, a very well favored, blessed man of God. Come on. But he hadn't seen nothing yet. See, he was oh, yeah. favored in the natural. Yeah. But God was going to show them, praise God, how well he was favored spiritually. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. Praise God. He lost everything. The devil said, Hallelujah. He said, Make Joe. He said, I can get Joe. Praise God to curse you. And God said you can do anything to him but kill him. Yeah. We're going to see how true and faithful Job is. Come on. And we can go through from Job chapter 1 all the way to the 42nd chapter, praise God. And all the stuff Job went through, he had three friends who I like to call the hypocrites. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> three hypocritical <laughs> friends that come up to him. Well, Job, we love you. Yeah. We love you, Job. Go over it. Hallelujah. They were them kind, praise God, that a, that a Shondi Rondi with you, praise God, to your face. Yeah. But then, praise God, when you do something silly for Jesus, amen to God, you may have a little David fit dancing around a little bit. You may roll in the floor, praise God. You may hop a pew, amen to God. You may just start crying for no reason when you hear the name Jesus. But then when you leave, they'll call somebody up. Well, did you see how ridiculous he yeah. acted tonight? Come on. Do you see how ridiculous Brother Mike got talking about when you're down to nothing, God is up to something? Why don't he Come shut on. up? Amen to God. Come we're on. so tired of hearing that mouth run about Come how good on. God is. Yeah. Oh, we're so tired of hearing him say, what's his name, church? Come on. We're so tired of hearing him singing that Jesus is with me. Come on. Praise God. I wish he would just hush up sometime. Thank God to hear he's moving. Amen to God. Come That'll on. shut him up. But you know what? Let me tell you, I'm still going to be on the radio Come on. and I'm still coming back. Come on. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So, devil, you got a black guy there. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So, I use myself, praise God, because nobody can't say enough to talk about me, praise God. Come talk on. about me all day long. Amen. Hallelujah. I gossip on myself to Jesus. Glory. Tell on myself. But they say, yeah, we finally getting rid of him. BOTL be better off now that he's gone. I'll still be back. Amen. I am left here, still my home church, amen to God. Brother Bill is still my pastor, praise God. Come on. But those hypocritical friends of his. Yeah, yeah. They go out and stick the knife in his back, but then they see him and say, Joe, man, you know this God thing you're doing, you need to just kind of maybe you go a little bit overboard. Yeah. You know, you know, if this God you served truly loved you, why would you lose your family? Why would you, amen to God, lose everything you got? Yeah. You got sores on your body. You got some, whoo, you stink, amen yeah, to God. Come on. Amen. You, you got, you, I don't want to catch that, amen to God. You just ought to give up. 
But Job said, hey, man, God, God is good. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. God is good. And I'll tell you right now, when God, amen to God, <laughs> Woo! Go over and I feel the Holy Ghost all. Hallelujah. Woo! You got on my time. Shout out on my time. Thank you, Jesus. How I'm tired of hearing Brother Mike do that. Praise God. Well, I'm sorry. Praise God. It's the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. See, God had faith in Job. Just like Job had faith in God. Yeah. And at the very, let me say that again. Yeah. God had faith in his child. Amen. Because yeah. so he told the devil. Yeah. He said, Satan, you can do anything to him but kill him. Yeah. Because I know he's going. Woo. Come on. How many how many times have y'all know the devil said that over each and every one of us in here? When God said, I know Brother Billy's gonna remain faithful Come on. to this radio station. I know Brother Billy's going to remain faithful to keep these doors of EOTL open, even though it's a storefront church. But let me tell you something. Like Brother Bill said the other night, we may be few here in number, but amen to God, they still matter. Amen to God. I don't yeah. care if it's one person or if it's 25,000. I know Brother Billy would be here, amen to God, preaching the same way. Praise God. Singing the same way. Testifying the same way. <laughs> Hallelujah. He don't do it for show. He does it for Jesus. Amen. Come on. God because him and Sister Reese are faithful. They're faithful to God. And God is faithful to them. Glory oh, yes. to God. He's faithful to y'all. Amen. Like Brother Slee said, he's been coming here seven or eight years faithfully. Hallelujah. The little storefront church. But you know what? The little storefront church has power. Yeah. They have power here. Yeah. Amen to God. You know why? Because Jesus is here. And Jesus is what's being lifted up here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Nobody else but Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So at the end of all that, through all the hypocritical friends, Job's wife and all of them doing what they did, yeah. the devil running rough shot over him. And I, and I, I believe it's still fine by being Brother Billy, I believe God still cared what Job was going through. Oh yeah. I, I don't believe for one second God just turned his back and said, Well, well I'll wait till oh, Job 42. On. Amen to God. I'll let the devil go from Job chapter 1 up to cha Job chapter 41, and I'll intervene in 42. Come on. He cared through it all. Because see, sometimes when we're going through something, we're on that wheel, that potter's wheel. Mm -hmm. Me and Laura was talking about this. Hallelujah, we was watching a Billy Graham crusade last night. Thank God for Billy Graham. Amen to God. Oh. Hallelujah, there may be some things that we differ on on what we believe. Praise God. I believe if he got filled with the Holy Ghost, boy, he'd be ten times powerful. Amen to God for Jesus. But, amen to God, he's still being used by God. He was sitting there preaching last night and we were talking. You know, why does it take people to go on an altar call when Billy Graham gives it? But when the same message is being preached at a church, nobody won't dare get up. Because I tell you, nine times out of ten, they go going down just to be seen. Come on. The Spirit of God has to draw you, amen, to God. A man cannot convict you, cannot bring conviction on you, cannot make you get saved. It's only the Spirit of God that does the convicting, amen? Come on. Hallelujah. And I've seen them people walk down there, Brother Billy, probably hundreds, if yeah. not more. And, I, and, and me and the Lord was talking, and I said, you know, I guarantee you at the churches, probably the next Sunday or whenever, you won't see them altars still up. When they're preaching the very same thing. And it's nothing against Billy Graham. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying a lot of the times people will go just for the show. Just because it's the big name preacher. And I have nothing against Billy Graham. I did not. I think what the Lord has been doing through him, hallelujah, souls have been won to Jesus. Thank God for it. But we've got to really listen to the Spirit of God. Amen? We've got Come to be on. faithful to His voice. Because, praise God, it don't matter if you have a big church or a small church. If Jesus is not in it, close it all. Come on. But at the end of that, God gave Job a double-fold blessing. Restored back everything he lost. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. It said in Job 42.12, the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Come on. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, 1,000 she asses, and so forth. It goes down telling about his sons and all that. That's some interesting reading if you want to read the whole chapter, the 42nd chapter, do that. If you're going through something and you've been faithful to God, when you're down to nothing, then God is up to something. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I give you a couple more and then we're going to finish out? Amen? Go ahead. 
What about the widow woman in 2 Kings 4? Uh -oh. This ought to get some people shouting, amen to God. Come on. She was down to nothing. Nothing. I mean, she went to the barrel. Come and on. she, can I use this for a barrel? Yeah. Praise God. Can you follow me with that for a second? You want me to come over? Praise God. She was got her last scoop out. Yeah. So this is what's for dinner, me and the boy. She was down to nothing. Y'all see Come that? On. Nothing yeah. in there. God was up to something. Come on. God had a prophet. He was going to send her away. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God's always got a word He's going to get to you. He'll have somebody come with a word. Amen to God like you were Tuesday night. That was your word, amen to God, that God spoke through you to me. Amen. I claimed it for me, amen to God, and for my family. But see, hallelujah, when he's down to nothing because of her obedience, she took care of the man of God. Let's read that real quick. 2 Kings 4, verses 1 through 7. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband's dead. Thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor has come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thy handmaid hath not anything in thy house save a pot of oil. Yeah. Then he said, Go borrow thy vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, empty, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. See, God likes to work in big things. Amen. He likes to bring big blessings. Hallelujah. Like Brother Billy preached that message at two-piece fish dinner, amen to God, with that boy. That yeah. boy, amen to God. I'm sure he didn't wake up that morning and say, my fish dinner, praise God, is going to feed 5,000 oh, people. Come on now. Come yeah. on now. Because God is more than enough, amen yes. to God. Hallelujah. Jesus got on the scene there. He took what little he had, and he made a lot out of it. Yes. God is amen. down to nothing. Hallelujah. God is up to something. Come amen on. to God. Glory. Somebody shout. Come on. Man. So she went forth from him and shut the door up on her. And upon her sons who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil, pay the debt, and live down thy children of the rest. Yeah. She was down to nothing. Come on. God was up to something. Amen. Amen. Blessed her more than she had before. Amen to God. Because God is good. Amen. Come she on. had a debt and God said, I'm going to take care of it. And then leave you some more. Amen. Amen. That's how God likes to work. Whew. God likes to work when nothing else will. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I love that old song. Amen. Glory. Peter. We're going to close after this. Amen. Whew. Peter was down to nothing. <coughs> He denied the Savior. Yeah. He seen Jesus do some of the great... Yeah. Matter of fact, Peter was the one that walked on water with Jesus oh, for a yeah. moment. Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, if it be you, bid me come. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Lord said, come. Yeah. He got out the boat, out the boat, walked on the water. Come on. He's out there with Jesus. Come on now. Yeah. How many of us can say, we've walked on water? I haven't. Mm -hmm. Come I've on. got on there long enough to sink, amen yeah. to God, but not to walk on it. Come on. Hallelujah. He's seen all of the miracles Jesus did. He was up there at the Mount of Transfiguration. Got to see that. Got to see Christ in His glory. Oh, Man. Yeah. When He's seen Elijah and who's it, Moses. Yeah. And Christ. Christ was in His full glory. Oh, my. Oh, man, can you imagine just seeing that with your carnal eye? Yeah. The privilege that was. But then he denied Jesus three times. Yeah. That just goes to show you, praise God, good men and women sometimes fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're not perfect. Mm -hmm. Come on. If you put your trust and faith in a man or woman, it's not going to work. Come on. They may, be, they may know the Word. They may pray. They may help people. But praise God, they're just a person. Jesus is who you need to lift up. Come on. Because He's using them. They're an instrument in His hand. So He denied Christ. He was at the bottom of the barrel, if you will. But see, God was up to something. Come on. Can you imagine when that cock crowed the third time and Jesus looked up at him after He denied him? Yeah. When He told him, you're going to deny me thrice. Yeah. Simon. Can you imagine that? Whew. Peter went off and repented. Yeah. Man, I can, I can only imagine what his heart felt like, church. Come on. 
But then Jesus met them on the shoreline. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He restored Peter's confidence, Peter's yeah. faith, his position in the kingdom. Amen? Come on. But here's the good news. See, when he was down to nothing, not only God restored him back. Yeah. What about Acts chapter 2? Uh-oh. Come on now. Yeah. God was up to something. Come on. He delivered a message that day. Yeah. Woo! Go over to God. Hallelujah. It said not just one or two folks come down there. Come on. <laughs> we seen the Holy Ghost pour out. It said there was like a cloven tongues of fire upon them. Yeah. Then later on it said that, was it three... 3,000 souls were saved that day yeah. and baptized in water. Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. God took something that yeah. was nothing and He made something big. Oh, Come glory! Because yeah. when Peter was down to nothing, he was up to something. Come on. Hallelujah. we got yeah. 3,000 more brothers and sisters that we'll meet one day Come on. because of that. What happened in Acts chapter 2. Amen? Yeah. So, out of everything tonight I've told you, praise God, we're closing up now. God is faithful and He's good. Yes. And I, and I tell myself this because, you know, with the move coming up, it's scary for me. And I, and I covet your prayers. We do. I covet your prayers over me, Lori, and Hunter, over our safety, over new jobs over new opportunities in ministry to bring forth the Word because there's something that God has put in me from here that I need to give them there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe it. Yes. And I, I told the Lord, hallelujah, just yesterday, I kind of got all upset again. The Lord kind of had a little falling out. I don't mind telling it, praise God, because I was scared. And, and we got into a little argument. I told her, I said, I'm scared. I said, I'm scared. I said, she said, you know, you got to trust Jesus, Mike. I said, I know. I said, I don't like change. I don't. I'm not one for change. Yeah. You know, praise God. I, I preach it all day long, you know. But it's one of those things that I remember praying a prayer. I said, like Paul, I said, Lord, let none of these things move me. And I tell you, ever since I prayed that prayer, Brother Sleece, it's been, <laughs> woo, glory to God. It's been, woo, like a merry-go-round. Boy, things come to left and right. Yeah. But you know, through it all, God is faithful. And I, I can say right now today that God has opened Himself up more to me through all these things like never before. Things He's been showing me, things He's been telling me, things I've been hearing through here. I'm a blessed man, church. I don't say that cockily. I say it because... Six years ago, I could have been buried. Yeah. But God saw fit. God seen this day that I would be here working with you fine folks. And you're just not friends or family to me. I love each and every one of you. We're all, I, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again, we're all different, but I'm goofy. Hallelujah. I'm goofy naturally and goofy spiritually. Amen. Amen. I'm a Mac Daddy cat. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I thank God that when we're down to nothing, God is up to something. Stand your feet with me if you don't mind. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Oh, yeah. And I just I thank you for that word the other night, Sister Teresa. And God, yeah. thank the Lord for what happened afterwards with that, with the Lord blessing y'all the next day or so. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to shout on that a little bit. Amen. Go over it. Y'all need to shout. God bless them. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I won't go into all of it because I don't want to take their... Amen to God, the chance to do a little bit of a run and shout or sleep says have a David fit. Amen. But God is good. Amen. Yeah. So if you're going through something tonight, know that He's with you. Yeah. He promised He'd never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. And y'all have heard this before. This ain't nothing deep that I'm giving you. It's just something very practical and very honest. Yeah. That the Lord just wants you to know He can do anything you need Him to do. And the biggest thing He wants out of all of us is to love Him. Let Him, let him love you. Amen. Just let Him love you. Because when He puts His arms around your church, you're, you're being embraced by the Father. 
And he's like, nothing's going to harm you. Nothing's going to come through these arms and harm you because I won't let it. Amen? Come on. Father, in Jesus' name, thank You tonight for Your Word. Thank You that You're a loving, merciful God, Lord. I pray, Lord God, those out here at VOTL, those listening through the radio, through Facebook, YouTube, whatever way, Lord God, through a CD, Lord God, whatever they're going through right now, dear God, Lord, let them know that You're with them. Let them know that all they've got to do is call upon You. You said, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Peter called upon you and you rescued him before he drowned. Hallelujah. John trusted in you when he was thrown on the Isle of Patmos. And you said he was faithful. Hallelujah. You took care of him, Lord. You was with him. Hallelujah. You was with Paul and Silas in the, in the midnight hour in the jail when they were beaten and done like dogs, but they still praised you because they knew you were faithful. <laughs> Calm all of our doubts and fears tonight. Lord, as you promised... Isaiah 41.10, you said, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. You said you would strengthen us. You said you would, you would strengthen us. You would keep us, Lord. Hallelujah. And we just ask for that tonight, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Lord, God bless our fellowship here in a few minutes. Be with us, Lord, as we depart tonight as well. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.